I think most of us have gone through periods like this where we chase girls who don't even like us back. And take me for example. I remember when I was in elementary school, there was this one girl who I really had a crush on and every time I would go to sleep thinking about her. But sadly, she didn't like me and so you can imagine how I felt during that time. I can imagine myself doing all this cute little stuff with her as a boyfriend, but unfortunately, it was all just a fantasy. If you can somehow relate to me, you know how awful it feels to be chasing girls. And in today's video, I want to tell you the main reason why you're still finding yourself chasing girls, and that's because you have a lack of self-respect. What is self-respect? Well, self-respect means that you value yourself. So what happens when you start valuing your crush more than yourself? You put well, her on a pedestal. You start thinking that, Oh, she's so special. She's so beautiful. How am I going to get A for my exams if I don't be with her? Are you kidding me? And when she replies to your text, Oh yes, she replied to me. She replied. <sighs> Oh my god, why am I posting this video, man? You might be super nice to her and all, and let's face it, you probably expected her to like you because of that. But you see, the reason why she doesn't like you, even if you're being all super nice and whatnot, you're being too because... needy. And if you're needy, why would she even want you anyway? She'll settle for a man who is working on himself, and she'll settle for a man who has goals, who has ambitions, who has his life all together. But she won't settle for you, you know why? Because you prioritize her over yourself. From my own personal experience, girls do not really want me. I remember guys. there was one time in high school, I was so obsessed and needy to this one girl whom, whom I really really liked by the way in class. She would ghost me every time we talked on WhatsApp. You know how fucked up that is. You wanna know what younger version of me did? I kept texting her. I still kept texting her, even though she was ghosting me like one, two, three, four, five times. I recorded five times when she ghosted me, and it was until this point, where five times she ghosted me, when I realized that I had just lost all respect for myself. I mean, sometimes I think to myself, why did I waste so much time on her? Why couldn't I have just have spent more time working on myself? And after one year of confessing my feelings to her, and I realized something very important, and that is that if you're too needy, no girl will be attracted to you ever. So unless you start having some respect for yourself, you will start speaking to that girl whom you like. Even if you had fun late night conversations with her, or perhaps you hang you hung out with her a few times already. And that's cool and not, but there will be a point where you will stop speaking to her. If completely. you keep speaking to her, you are only wasting your time and energy. And instead of being obsessed with her, why don't you obsess about your goals at the end of this year? I mean, you always wanted to get good grades for your exams, right? You've had that desire all along. Making so do progress that. to your goals is still 100% better than making progress to attract a girl who doesn't even like you to begin with. And that's why I believe the best course of action for you right now is to just move on. And I know, I know, moving on can be very scary, especially since it's someone whom you devoted all your time and all your energy to. But it's important that you have some respect for yourself. If not, You'll still wonder why she doesn't reply to your DMs on Instagram or whatever. Think about it, would your future wife really want you to be overly needy and overly obsessed about girls? No, of course not. Have some respect for yourself. It will save you months, maybe even years of your life. I know what it's like to be left out by girls. And both you and I, we don't deserve to get mistreated by girls, ever. And as a 17-year-old teenager myself, currently studying in school, I know you got so much more potential to improve. I want to let you know that a better life awaits you when you let go of As you start girl. becoming more purposeful, mindful of your time, as you start making more progress to your goals. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. 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 Whoa.
You're good. You're gonna meet new girls at some point in your life. And you'll stop being needy because you already have an abundance of girls around you. And when you stop being needy, guess what? More girls will like you. Realize that once you let go of this girl, miracles will come to you only if you work hard for the things you want. And only you know the kind of life you want to build when you grow older. And the way I see it, you can abandon her or you can abandon yourself. The choice is yours. Take care.